Oh no. Oh god. I think I've caught it. I think I've caught feelings. Hey guys, I am back and you may be wondering, Hannah, what are you doing? Well, because today is Valentine's Day, well actually tomorrow is Valentine's Day, but for today it is Valentine's Day for you, so happy Valentine's Day. But for me, it isn't Valentine's Day, it's happy Walking Dead Day, because yes, The Walking Dead comes back on today. So I thought, what if I did a combination of The Walking Dead and Valentine's Day, what would you get? That's why I came up with the concept of the love bite. Yes, okay, it's basically a traditional zombie bite, but if you had Valentine's Day on the front of it, it kind of becomes a love bite, you know, make the connection. I mean, Valentine's Day is a pointless day anyway, you might as well add something else to it that's pointless. This is the first time I've actually worked with liquid latex. I've worked with, you know, paints and body paints and all that kind of thing before, but this is the first time I've used latex and I'm actually very proud of what I've done. It may not be the most amazing thing, but I'm happy about it. So this is both for the single people and people in couples. It's mostly just for everyone who loves The Walking Dead. Like me. So let's get started. So here's what you're going to need. First of all, you'll need some liquid latex. This is just some white liquid latex. You can get it in flesh tones and also any colour you want really. Next, you're going to need some kind of face paint. This is the Meron Bruise Pro Colouring and it's really good for cuts, bruises, anything like that. If you're looking for something that's going to last longer, I suggest alcohol activated paint because that will stay on the skin until you use alcohol to take it off. So it will last a very long time while cream based paint. So here I just have some really cheap triangle sponges. These are going to help with the effects that I want to put on the skin, which I will show you a little later. You could use brushes, but the truth is, they'll most likely get destroyed. So if you feel like you really have to use brushes, I'd suggest getting cheap ones that you don't mind being wrecked. I've also got some toilet roll, and this is to use with the latex to make a kind of 3D effect of the bite. Or the effect, 3D effect. I've also got some 99% uh, pure alcohol, not the kind of alcohol you can drink, don't be that person. This is just going to make the paint more translucent and just make it so the bruise looks more realistic, which you will see when I do it. And lastly I've got this which is just a lid off my hairspray, I'm just going to use this to put the liquid latex in just so you know I don't have to leave the bottle open and let the latex dry up because we don't want and I've just got an old t-shirt that, you know, I don't care about destroying. Uh, I've got my hair back, obviously I've got this bit out here, but I will push that back out the way. So, let's get started. So you'll see throughout that I do actually talk, but I was too quiet, so I had to do a talk over. So here, what I'm doing is I'm taking one of the triangle sponges and just starting to rip chunks out of it, just like that. And you're just going to do that all over the flat top of the triangle sponge. So in the end you'll just get something that obviously just looks very bumpy and teared up. Like that. Make sure you've cleaned your neck. Um, there's nothing on it, but aiming for this kind of general area. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Merrill palette, or whatever paint palette you have, um, and I'm just going to spray a little bit of the alcohol onto the sponge. And the first colour I'm going to take is the, kind of the yellow colour, and um, I'm just going to start that on. Don't worry if the colours are very bright at first because that's what the alcohol is for. And that make it look Okay. And then we're gonna take some green. Stop tapping that about. 
the green is going to go further out because if you think about it like an, an infection spreading next we're going to start going in with the red color so we've just done yellow and green and now we're doing red aiming for grossness. Next I'm going to take the darker colour. So we're basically just going around the palette in a circle. This is a more dark brown colour. Um, I'm just like with the edge of the sponge just kind of going around to where the back would be. And then the last colour, which is this kind of darky, bluey, purple colour, it's called Midnight Sky. This you don't want to go crazy with, so I'm going to take the pointed end of the sponge and dab the edge of it in. This is as much a learning experience for me as it is for you guys, so do not worry. The great thing about this kind of thing is that you can make mistakes because even if you do make mistakes at the end of the day, I don't think anyone's going to be able to tell. Don't beat yourself up about it, just keep practicing. Anyway, I've just ripped the second sponge because I want to go back in with the green and the yellow colours. So, once again, I'm just going to strip Spritzing the alcohol on just makes it so it doesn't go on like dead vibrant. Oh, don't breathe. <coughs> don't inhale the alcohol. And just wherever you feel it's a bit too much going on, you can just go in with the alcohol on the sponge. And just make it a bit more translucent. And here I'm just adding more paint or using the alcohol to get rid of the paint just until I find where I am happy with it. Okay, so once you're happy with it, you can see the base of what's going on. So next we're going to take our liquid low tech. I'm going to pour some into our little container. Just don't watch for now, and more you can pour more out. For now, I think that is fine. So at this point, we are going to be covering some of the paint, but don't worry because we're going to go back over later and go back in with the paint. So do not worry. So I'm just going to take yet another. This is why it's good to get a pack of these because you will be using quite a few of them. I'm just going to dip that. In the latex and then just where I want the light to be. The layer. Next I'm going to be taking toilet paper. I'm just going to pop that and I'm basically going to work out how much I'm going to need and we'll rip it into a kind of new shape once again it doesn't have to be spot on I'm just rip it into bits I'm kind of just going to roll it Then I'm going to roll it, aren't I? So I'm just going to take the wet blue text 
can cover not all but just where I want the part. And then I'm just going to rip away the edges. The tissue will get stuck to your finger. That's okay. And then let's take in the next layer. I'm doing the same, measuring it up. where the middle of the bite is and all you're going to do is take tweezers and just start picking up the latex to make the teeth gaps As you can see, like this tooth bite, this tooth bite, this tooth mark looks bigger. But you've got to think, it's a zombie. They ain't gonna have perfect set teeth. And there you have it. We have the bite marks done. Now we've just got to get on to painting it, making it look obviously a lot more realistic than it looks right now. So the lighting has changed because it's got darker outside and my camera ran out. My camera ran out. My camera ran out. But let's just continue. So as you can see, we've got all our bite marks. Some look a bit different because I kind of fucked up on this one, but then I just put some latex back over it to, you know, put it back together, but don't worry, the paint will cut that up. It usually matches my skin, so it should work. If it doesn't, then screw this, but I don't know. Let's give it a sort. Yep, it's all dry, so I'm actually just going to use my own makeup sponge. This is just so it's not over overly colourful, because I feel like it'll look unrealistic. I'm now just going to take this kind of foundation brush, sorry I've got black oil in my hand, um, and we're just going to go back to our palette. Starting with the lighter red shade, we're just going to start painting in the teeth mark. And then going to go in with the darker brownie ready shade. My camera cut out a little bit here, but all you missed was that I'm adding the green, the yellows, the reds, just basically going back over what we did at the very beginning. And what I'm also going to do is the same thing we did before, taking the edge of the sponge. Sorry, I'm using like my lamp as a light at the moment. 
and just switch it up. And then I'm just gonna start making the veins. So guys, that is it. As you can see, here is my love bite. Um, I'm actually really proud with how it came out, you know. First time using liquid latex, I'm very proud. For my face, I just put some dark eyeshadow under my eyes, concealer and dark eyeshadow on my lips, and just made my face as pale as I could without it looking fake. So yeah. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day and an even better Walking Dead Day. If you enjoyed this video give it the good old thumbs up and if you'd like leave a comment below of other FX makeup you maybe like me to do. I don't know, let me know. And if you fancy it, subscribe and I will see all you love biting zombies later. Today is extremely good and oh look, some people play with the dogs. Oh, oh no, maybe not. I'm gonna go wait and uh, I kind of fucking spooked it. Um, just any kind of greet. Any kind of green, I can't say cream, cream. Ah! Feelings, get the feelings away. Dead, the walking dead is coming back on. Get to see Norman Reedus. Who I'm gonna 